All right, so you've gone out there, you have searched the web, you have identified this unbelievable openly licensed content, and you are so ready to start incorporating it into your course. You've got to attribute all of this. You have to properly attribute all content that you are going to adopt, adapt, remix, or reuse in your course or whatever you are building with this openly licensed content. So give me a few minutes and I'm going to show you some shortcuts to proper attributions. All right, so the first place I've taken you is to Microsoft. Microsoft's Download Center now has an Office add-in that will allow you to have a CC license directly in Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Briefly, what does this look like once you have installed it? It looks like right here, you can have something new up here in your ribbon. And what it's going to allow me to do is that when I click on that, it's going to bring me over here. And it's going to let me determine whether or not the document is licensed or not licensed. So if the document was licensed, I'm going to click on this. It's going to let me add a license. So it's going to let me do CC BY and C. So I'm simply going to click that and then boom, there it is. So now what happens is if you'll notice over here, it'll say this document is now licensed. So if you're creating your own content, you want to go ahead and get your license on there, this add-in for Microsoft Office is awesome. Let me show you a couple other tricks. Alright, so here's a fairly new one that's still kind of under development. It's called Open Attribute. And what it does is it reads the machine-readable code off of a CC license and will let you know if something on that page is openly licensed. The way it does that I had this loaded on my computer is look what happens to my address bar it's got this guy right here on it that tells me that there's something on this page that can be openly licensed the add-in works you can install it here the add-in works in Chrome Firefox Opera, WordPress, and this little guy right there is Drupal. So I've got it in loaded, loaded for me in, um, in Chrome. Um, the way that it would work real quickly is this. If I wanted to cite something on this page, I'm going to click on my little guy, and it's going to give me everything. It's going to give me the title, the source, the author, the license. I go more info right here. I can take this, copy and paste that into the bottom of a document. Or I can take this, which is the HTML code, and I can embed it into Blackboard or into my web page. So open attribute, certainly something worth looking into. Here's another one that's pretty cool, again, still kind of in development, but it's Image Coder. And what Image Coder does is it helps you attribute photos from Flickr. Now the best thing about this is that all you need to do is enter the URL of the picture and I'm going to show you what it does. Alright, so I've gone to Flickr and I found this photo that I absolutely love because it looks so beachy. But now I've got to attribute the thing once I download it. I'm going to use Image Coder to do that. In order to do that, I'm going to come up here. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to use a control C to copy that URL. And I'm coming back to Image Coder. Here I am at Image Coder. 
it says getting my HTML, HTML code, Flickr URL, control V for paste, submit, think for a second, my computer's really slow today, it's still thinking, wow, come on guys, there we go, Ta -da! so what does it tell me I can do, I can share it, I have to attribute it, I can use it for commercial purposes, I can remix it, but if I adapt it, I have to distribute the resulting work only under the same or similar license. So it gives me this little woo woo warning down here. Wow, there's my HTML code. Copy and paste it. This is how the HTML code would look on my site. So you're looking to attribute Flickr. This image coder is pretty cool. Of course, we can always do it the old school way, which is we simply follow the best practices as published on the Creative Commons website, and we assemble our attribution according to license. These are just a couple of tools that will have you no longer fearing attribution and get you adopting, adapting, remixing, and reusing Creative Commons license content in no time.